What's up, Leo? It's me, the Sunlight Oracle here, and I have your reading for the dates of July 1st through the 15th, 2021. Welcome. Maybe you can infer that I'm now going to do two readings per month per sun sign. So the next reading will come out in like 10 days or something, and it'll be for July 15th through the 31st. I hope this comes as good news as you know this is a small channel but we do that is you crossed by that leo again this has come up for you so much the friendship wound remember but sorry <laughs> before we get into that i just want to say that um this is a small channel but we do big readings leo so if you like it please subscribe it's the easiest way to ensure that this channel moving forward um, can sustain itself, you know? It's that simple. But we have cards coming out left and right for you, so I'm just gonna start here by saying your current situation is the Eight of Rods crossed by the Three of Cups, and I'm already feeling echoes from the last reading that we did together in June, so you can expect to kind of revisit some of those issues, but let's also see how you're moving forward through that. In your conscious mind, we get the Queen of Swords, also a card I remember pulling for you. In your unconscious, we get the two of rods. Lovely. I love it. And in the past, the tower. Cool. That tells me that you did some work that you needed to do regarding the friendship wound. In the future, we get the chariot. Lovely. You, my friend, this month are represented by the ten of pentacles. Not a bad place to be sitting. And your environment is the five of pentacles. Interesting and your hopes and fears are represented by the devil and the solution or resolution that we're going to explore here is the five of rods i love that and we're also i don't normally do this but i'm going to try it out this is my deck that i designed this on like oracle deck and i would like to just pull one card a root card to sort of explore you know an overarching theme here thank you and what we got for you is achievement awesome achievement so keep that in mind and we'll pull it in as it is necessary all right leo i hope you can see all this we're gonna start here with something we've discussed and if you're new welcome <laughs> eight of rods this is your situation i love the eight of rods to me it's a card that indicates a swift energy it says it's a well-oiled machine it's things that are going according to plan maybe to the point where it's a bit overwhelming Maybe your ducks are falling in a row in a way that, you know, you weren't ready for. <laughs> that can happen sometimes. Make sure when you wish for something, when you desire something, when you want the universe to heed your call, make sure you're ready for it, you know? And I'm not saying you're not. It's just a good reminder to um, be careful what you wish for, Leo. So while all of this uh, sort of just pace of your life is picking up here in July, these first two weeks, I do feel the oppositional energy as the three of cups, which is sort of this lure or like it kind of feeling seduced by things that you used to do in the past. Um, this channel attracts a lot of recovering addicts as I am one myself. So I will be specific with this and saying that if you are in recovery, the three of cups sometimes can indicate like, you know, the old cravings rearing their ugly head. But let's say you're not in recovery, which many of you are not, and that's great as well. But it could be, you know, past toxic behaviors that start to rear their ugly head. When things start going so fast and going so well, it's easy to kind of let the light go out, if that makes sense. Like you're carrying this torch and everything's speeding up and it's a little bit overwhelming and it's a lot easier to put that torch out and go back to sleep. And that's what I'm feeling here with the three of cups, my friends, is that sort of putting out the torch energy. And also it's, it's feels like nostalgia to me as well. And if you have received a reading from me before or been on this channel for a while, you know how I feel about nostalgia and that I do think it can be toxic and lead us to the past and keep us there instead of being present, instead of focusing on what is. And it looks like what is for you in these first two weeks of July, Leo, is a lot. And it's a lot of growth. And like I said, growth is hard and it's easier to go back to sleep. I'm going to now read your conscious and your unconscious motivations here. And it seems like consciously you're aware of what i'm talking about you're aware of the allure or the sed 
seduction of past behaviors, past relationships, past people who have kept you stuck. Because now you might be feeling a bit lonely, Leo, as so many of us in the world are. It's not just you. But I also see that you've come to battle here with the Queen of Swords. Always know that the Queen of Swords represents um, an energy that can be ex expressed as boundaries, right? You know this. You are identifying this oppositional force and you're, you're bringing out your, your sword to kind of fend it off. You're aware of this, very conscious, and I want to applaud you for that, for not completely spiraling out here. In your unconscious, there's something else going on here. We're gonna deviate from the nostalgia, from the past, from the friendship wounds that have kept us stuck. And we're gonna talk about the two of rods, which to me indicates that on an unconscious level, you're already moving towards something new, like a new path altogether. I'm talking about moving. I'm talking about career shift. I'm talking about creating a new community that is completely different from the world in which you live right now. This again is occurring on an unconscious level. So you might hear me say that and it seems kind of like, ooh, like that's, a, that's intense. But just know that like the way that your unconscious mind, especially when you're not in touch with your intuition and it's just kind of operating without your um, approval or your acknowledgement, is that it works in small intervals and it starts to push us on a different path and one day we wake up and we're entirely on a new path and we don't know how we got there. And this card just comes in to tell you like that could be what's happening for a lot of you Leos out there incremental change. And if you're willing to get in touch with it, if you're willing to become aware and alert of what those little incremental changes are, you know, your intuition will thank you. I think that's a lovely lesson and it's really exciting to see in my friends who are Leos. Okay. So in the past, I also, before we go to the past, I also just want to pull in the achievement card real quick with, um, so some of you Leos I'm, I'm hearing are like very driven by material success at this time, whether that is, you know, financial or attaining home ownership or a home, I'm sorry, or a car, you know, like bigger purchases. Um, the, the challenge here, the rub with achievement is very much to consider the ways in which you are achieving a different kind of non-material success. Okay, it's not saying that you won't achieve this, but if you can't figure out how to honor and acknowledge the spiritual, emotional, the growth that you are doing and expect it to be manifested on this plane as like a reward of wealth or car or home, etc. I mean, you're doing yourself and again, your intuition a disservice. So just keep in mind like your relationship with achievement as you are moving forward and truly setting, setting foot on a different path. And the reason that you are going to set foot on such a different path is that I feel here in your recent past, the tower card. And if you are a tarot enthusiast of any kind, you know that the tarot card, I'm sorry, the tower card is not necessarily beloved by all sitters, right? It indicates that there, that you've kind of had the rug ripped out from underneath you, that you are falling without expectation of any kind of anyone catching you, of any solid safety net being there. And I do feel like this is occurring on, um, I, I, I had another reading like this for, um, I feel like it was cancer maybe, this this go round about a lot of you may be going through what's known as the Saturn return, which, you know, occurs every roughly 29 and a half years in your birth chart. And it's a radical sort of shift. It's a radical sort of change. It's where your whole life kind of gets burned down. And the only parts that remain are the parts that were sturdy enough to begin with. And that's why I'm talking about exiting nostalgia, exiting people, behaviors, lifestyles that no longer serve you. Okay, and I just want to acknowledge that some of you may still be in that grief, in that mourning, in that kind of like WTF do I do. And I just want you to know that you're doing everything correctly, even though it's not glamorous, even though it's not beautiful, even though it's certainly not easy. You are right where you're supposed to be, Leo. I feel that. And I want you to know that moving forward, again, it's not a time to put out the torch. It's not. It's a time of growth for you and it's a time to completely marry your spiritual development with all of your material practical skills. What is ahead when the chariot comes up means 
hard work. <laughs> it means going to battle for full force, but it also to me indicates that there is an amount, uh, there's a great amount of confidence that is to be developed within you in these coming weeks that are going to make going to battle, making changes, accepting changes that have occurred so much easier. Okay. I do feel that your struggle when we look at this reading is so much more emotional and un like with an unwillingness to kind of relinquish, re I'm sorry, release the past, release these relationships and accept that you may be completely um, embarking on a new journey here with the two of rods. And I just want you to know that Leo, when I get this reading for your archetype, you're not in dire trouble with your finances right now. You're not in dire trouble with um your home situation you know what i mean this card the ten of pentacles to me indicates that you actually have a lot of that stuff already set up a foundation already laid a sense of self already known and moving forward where you're going to be challenged is learning how to share that with others and also share that um develop that emotional love for the self. Do you see the difference there? Do you see how like you may be getting like checking all the boxes here on earth, but then in the psychic space, you may be needing to sort of investigate further who you are. Does that make sense? Cause that's what I feel. That's where I feel like you are with the 10 of pentacles is like my life is together, but something is lacking. And, and the something that is lacking is not your desire for self-discovery, but the discovery itself. And the discovery itself takes time, my friends. It takes time. This is not easy work. These tarot readings that I do are not meant to be, I see them as a check-in. So this is a check-in for the first two weeks of um, July here. Not necessarily like, they don't foretell the future. This is a check-in with where you're at and where you're going. And I do feel like Leo, you guys are in the thick of some serious transformation, which is why, you know, I started doing these every two weeks because things will shift abruptly for you. Things will shift organically for you. And I want to be there for you when they do. Okay. That was a side note because now what we're talking about is your environment, the five of pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are actually surrounded. Okay. Let's go back to the 10 of pentacles. The reality here, which is that you do have these material things that you need. I mean, let's be real. Like let's make a gratitude list. Like what do you have? <laughs> and you're surrounded by people and energy and entities and things that are making you doubt that they're making you doubt that you can't make your own money or that you haven't already made your own money or that you lack certain things that are again material. And I'm here to tell you, Leo, the material is not what you're lacking in where you feel the lack is in your heart and in your heart, your intuition is already trying to take care of that for you. If only you can open up and listen, if only you can be open to other more abstract ideas of achievement, you have achieved on the material plane. How are, do you achieve on the psychic one? Mm -hmm. I really want you to investigate your relationship with the psychic side of yourself as opposed to the material because that's, that's just not the call for your archetype during this month of July. Okay. When we look, oh my goodness, this is so interesting. When we look at your hopes and fears and we get the devil, it's again, there's something going on with you, Leo, right now in regards to material possessions, feeling possessed by them, not feeling possessed by them or not feeling like you have enough or not recognizing that you have all that you need and that it is a strong foundation to build more of a sense of self upon. I think it's interesting how concerned I feel that you are with money at this time. And that is not without saying that we live, especially here in the U S in a capitalistic society where money is power. But I do feel like your, um, you would serve your, you would be better served to again, focus on your soul and on where you're going, not what you don't have. Focus on where you're going, not on what you don't have that they wanted me to say it twice. That is important. 
Okay, so this resolution, look, this isn't like the sexiest resolution that you're ever gonna get, but this is um, permission to kind of defend yourself, to <laughs> definitely defend yourself, but also um, not be afraid to be in the heart of the conflict here. Like I, I do feel that with the past, with this nostalgia that's really weighing on you and how you thought your life was gonna be and how it's kind of seems to be unfolding in a different way, with that, in addition to the influence of people making you feel, or you're letting people make you feel like you don't have enough or that you lack all these important, these important things, stand up for yourself. I, I mean, you know, between, <laughs> let your soul stand up to yourself. If that makes sense, then it makes sense. But there's something bigger here. There's something greater. There's something more beautiful here that you are meant to do, Leo, if you could only take your eyes off the sense of material achievement, because that's what achievement is. It is material and take your eyes off what you think you don't have and take your eyes off what you think you're supposed to do based on what the past had in store. Because the past has already decided here with the tower, my friend, that that wasn't ever how it was supposed to be, you know? That wasn't ever how it was supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. Two of rods, incremental change, growth over time. And um, yeah, put yourself in the heart of that conflict if you have to. I think you do have to. I think you have to stand up for yourself. Or again, let your soul stand up to yourself. If you know, you know. Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope that you're feeling fired up because every time I step into your archetype, I feel fired up if you can't tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like <sighs> there's a lot to learn here. I feel like we're looking forward to Leo season right around the corner and come back in, you know, seven to 10 days and I will have more information on your soul growth and moving forward as the Leo archetype. Until then, my friends, enjoy this Eight of Rods energetic